If you're wanting to get your Shopify store ranked in Google, these are two things that you're going to need to do to make sure that you have the best chance of getting on that front page. The first one is making sure that your domain is verified with Google. And the second one is making sure that you submit a Shopify sitemap directly into the Google Search Console. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and it's only gonna take a couple of minutes. If we're just meeting, my name's Brendan Gillen and I run the e-commerce academy. I've been in e-commerce for over 15 years working for some of the biggest brands in the world. I now run my own million dollar e-commerce stores and I also am a head coach in the e-commerce academy where I help e-commerce entrepreneurs scale their store from zero to a million dollars a year. And I also run this YouTube channel where I share all the things that I learn and all the things that you need to know about how to grow, scale, and really take your store to the next level. So if you like what I'm doing here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you wanna know a little bit more, I've got a link down below about the e-commerce academy. Otherwise, let's get into the video. In order to give yourself the best chance of ranking in Google, you need to make sure that Google knows that you own the domain and you have full control of it. And that's why we need to verify. The second thing we need to do is we need to feed Google with all the pages that are in your store. And that's where a sitemap comes in. And Shopify provides the sitemap to make it super easy to go in. Now there's a few little technical steps that we're gonna to need to do together. So we're gonna take you through those steps now. The first one is just verifying the domain. We'll go do that. And then after that, we're going to pop in and we're gonna submit the Shopify sitemap into it. And in order to do that, we're going to need to use a tool which Google gives us, which is called the Google Search Console. So let's pop into Google and get into that console right away. To find it, we're just gonna go into Google and we're gonna type in Google Search Console. And then we're going to choose the one that says sign in to Google Search Console. When we're in there, we wanna make sure that we're signed in and we're going to add something called a property. So we click here, we click add property. And by clicking add property, this now says to Google, we wanna add a domain that we are the owners of. Now there's two ways to verify this ownership. One is by editing the domain file and the other one is by editing the website file. The one they're recommending us to do now is the domain one. And this is where we need to have access to the domain. This is the one we prefer you to do because it is effectively the more robust one. Sometimes though, if you don't have access to your domain, this one might not work. So they're giving you this other option, which is the URL prefix. I'll take you through both of them so that you have both options. So for the domain one, we're gonna type in our domain and I've got a test store here that we use. So we can use ecohut.com.au, we click continue. It's going to now go out and see whether or not we already have access to this and verify it on our behalf. Now this one's popped back and we don't have access to it. We haven't done this verification. So there's two methods that we can use here. One is by adding a text record or one is by adding a CNAME record. Now the reason they give us these two records is some domain providers don't allow you to put in a text record, they only allow you to do a CNAME. So it depends on your domain provider. The process is exactly the same, we just put in a different record. Now what a record is, it's basically your domain name. So in our instance, it's ecohut.com.au, that's our domain name and we own it. Now we're the only ones that have access to add records in there. And by us putting records in there, it means that Google knows that we are truly the owner of that domain. So it's giving us a number that it wants us to put in there that only it knows and you know, right? So then if it's in your domain, it's told you to put it in there, it's gonna be able to verify. It's like a verification code effectively. So we can do that via the text record or the CNAME record. So it's given some instructions here. So we choose the one we wanna do. We're going to sign into our domain name provider and that's you know GoDaddy, Namecheap, depending where you register your domain, it could be anywhere. Then we're gonna copy this record and we're gonna paste it into the DNS. So I'm just gonna copy that there and I'm gonna go over to my domain provider. Now, I don't use any of the big guys, we have our own domains, so it might look a little bit different for you guys. But basically what we're doing is we're gonna click something which is called add a zone record. And in here we can see it has all those record types. So luckily for me, I actually have both. I have a text record and a CNAME record. So I'm gonna choose the text record. I'm gonna click create new record. We don't need to worry about putting a name in. We can just go straight in and we can click text. Now go ahead and click add record. It may bump up with this error here. And sometimes it says we need to put in this little speech mark. Okay, this doesn't happen for all domain providers, but it does happen for some. If that does, we just put the speech mark at the back and the front, wherever we need to do it. We're gonna go in and we're gonna click add record now. Okay, and it says the requested text record has been created. So we could do the exact same thing with a CNAME if you don't have text records in here. Right, so really straightforward, really easy. Once we've done that, we pop back to Google Search Console 
and we click verify. Now this may happen to you where it doesn't verify straight away. Now the reason this happens is when we update our domain, that domain is hosted on one part of the internet, whereas Google is on another part of the internet. And sometimes that doesn't happen very quick and it's called domain propagation. It's a little bit of a technical thing that happens, but it can take anywhere from up to 30 minutes to 24 hours for your domain to propagate and be verified, okay? So that's one sort of downside of this DNS version of the verification. So we could sit here and we could wait 30 minutes or we could go in and we could do the second one. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to choose the URL prefix instead. So this is exactly the same as if we were to choose this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the URL prefix and we're going to type in our domain in here. But we're going to do the full website at this stage. And we click continue. We're gonna get the same thing that happened last time. Now this is gonna give you a couple of different options here. So it's gonna say, would you like to upload a HTML file? Would you upload a HTML tag? All these other things. Because we're using Shopify, we're gonna click HTML tag and we're gonna copy this in here, click copy. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to our Shopify theme and we're gonna add this in here. So we're gonna head back to Shopify. We're gonna to go to our online store and we're gonna edit the current live theme. So we're gonna go Click here, and we're gonna edit the code. Don't worry, it's not, uh, it's not too scary. In here, we're gonna find the page that is called theme.liquid. Now, if you have a look over at Google Search Console, it says copy the meta tag below and paste it into the site's homepage. It should go in the head section before the first body section. So we can do that. We can see here, we've got head here, but what we wanna do is we wanna scroll all the way down and we're gonna see head and body. Okay, let's go through. Got body there, but that's not the one. I'm gonna keep going and we can see the start of this body tag here. So we've got the end of head and the start of body. So let's just confirm where, we, where I wanted to put it. So it says it needs to go in the head section, but before the body section. So go back and that means it wants us to put it here. Now, as you can see, I've, here's one I created earlier. Uh, I will, I'll leave that in there. It's probably for another demo that I did last time. All right, so we'll click save and that's saved to go in there. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Google Search Console and we are gonna click verify. Awesome, ownership has been verified. So now Google knows that we are the owner of this domain. So we can click go to property and it brings us in here. So now what we can do is we can head over to the left-hand side and we have access now to submit a sitemap into Google. Now this actually couldn't be any easier. What we basically do is we're just gonna type in here sitemap.xml. Okay, we click submit, sitemap submitted successfully. Click dismiss. Now it might take a second or two to get to successful. You just need to refresh the page if it says it couldn't fetch or something here, okay? But now we can see that the sitemap has been submitted and it was last read on July 19th, which is today's date. So now you've got your site verified, you've got your sitemap submitted. It means that every time you now update your Shopify store, it's gonna go into Google and it's gonna let it know where your pages are. It also means that you can monitor and track how your store is performing in Google, what keywords it's being found for, and basically all the performance of your store because now Google has full access to the way it's working and how well you're optimizing your store. Now, if you do want to know a little bit more about SEO and search engine optimization for Shopify, I have actually created a SEO Shopify masterclass and we're also ranked number one for Shopify SEO. Uh, so you can check out one of those videos. That'll be anywhere here on the screen. I urge you to watch them. It's gonna be super powerful if you wanna rank your Shopify store in Google.